Camelot is almost here at the Riverside Center for the Performing Arts. Actually, it is here because uh, I, I've been here since 8.30 this morning working on staging and stuff. And we, we actually start uh, today with uh, staging about the first 44 pages. So um, uh, at 1 o'clock... It's here. It's been here for a week. We've been in rehearsal, but uh, I am so looking forward to uh, to Camelot, and we have such an outstanding cast, and um, one of the things that I am looking most forward to is having one of my favorite actors, who has the most incredible voice, uh, come back to the Riverside stage, and I cannot believe when I say it's almost been... 10 years since she first appeared here at mm. uh, Riverside back in when was that 2012 she was my co-star oh, in the Maury Eston Phantom uh, Quinn Vote Welch and I believe she's on this call with us. she yeah. is Quinn welcome <laughs> hi thank you so much pleasure to be here for Patrick to say that they've gone through 40 or they're going to go through 44 pages did that sort of start making you feel it was real and you got a little bit nervous no, I've I've been preparing. Um, Patrick is so great about you know having a lot of confidence in me, and I I think uh, Chris, who's playing uh, Arthur, and I are going to come in you know two weeks into the rehearsal, so it's great to to have that time to to work on stuff on my own. So I'm excited to get plugged in. I I don't feel intimidated, but it'll be it'll definitely be you know getting up on your feet pretty pretty fast. So, Chris, we yes. uh, we start the process um, a week from today, and I know how much you've been looking forward to playing Arthur. I, I remember when I asked you to do this show, you were you were so excited about uh, getting to do it. Tell me about um, uh, your connection to Arthur and uh, why the um, the joy in getting to play this role. Well, you know, it's it's funny because it's it's this. This role in this show that made me become an actor because back in 19, I want to say 1982, mm -hmm. I saw a production of Camelot. Uh, it was a touring production with Richard Harris. Yeah. And uh, uh, right before the show started, the curtain came up and they made a speech because uh, Richard Burton had just passed away like I, like, I said, like a week before. Oh, wow. And Richard Harris had asked that there be a moment of silence in, in Richard Burton's honor. So, uh, but I saw the show, and uh, the proposition speech that at the very end of the first act, and, you know, Richard Harris was just, he was, he was breathtaking in person. And uh, I got to meet him afterwards, and he was so generous to a young man and so uh, nice to everybody who he met. He, he signed my program. He took pictures with everybody. He was just a total gentleman. And as I was leaving, his limousine pulled up beside me, and he rolled down his window, and he said, uh, he, goes, he said, thank you so much for coming. It meant the world to me. And he put his window back up and drove off. But it just, it, so the show just struck me. And I said, God, that's what I want to do. And uh, I've never had the opportunity. I've been up for Lancelot a few times, but I've never uh, had the opportunity to play, uh, to play Arthur. And I thought, you know, that had passed me by. So but that's my connection with the show. It's the reason I became an actor. I'm not just hiring him, yes, for his voice, yes, for his acting ability, but I'm I'm hiring him for his own, what he brings to the plate. Because even during the process of Annie, you know, I'm directing the show, but if Chris comes to me and says, hey, could I try it this way, or what do you think about this? That's the kind of people I want to be working with. Patrick is going to be doing some wonderful things with the show, um, you know, because Camelot itself is a very long show. And this verse, this particular version, is very concise. You know, it, it really gets, it, as Patrick you may have mentioned uh, before, it really centers on the relationship with Lancelot, uh, Guinevere, and Arthur, and uh, you know, all, all, all the all the meat is there, uh, and, and all the characters are there, or if they're not there, they're referred to, and it, it really is a very concise version. And uh, a lot of people think about Camelot, they think, oh, that's such a long show. But this this version is an entirely different, uh, entirely yeah. different animal, and it's going to be really. And some of the ideas Patrick has told me about are going to make it just, just incredible. Yep. No, it's going to be. Um, it, it, I was fleshing out the the um, video um, that I am planning on using about that part of American history that I don't want to give it away to the audience. But um, right, the just the opening is. Um, uh, I was talking to our stage manager last night about the different cuts and stuff, and she started crying. 
And uh, she wow. said, I, I never expected this. And just the connections between this part of American history and these characters is, is, is oh, yeah. truly, um, the, the, cor- the correlation between the two is really, really great. So, um, yeah, yeah it's almost frightening. It's almost, yeah, some of the, the parallels are really almost frightening. Yep. Just, yep. And, it, and that it's still happening even today. Even, even today. So, um, yep. so incredible. Give me something about, uh, why you are looking so forward to uh, playing Guinevere. Mm, yeah. So I've been familiar with that character in the story of Camelot since I was little. I watched the Vanessa Redgrave movie as I was growing up, and <clears throat> there's something really beautiful about that character and how she does fall in love with Lancelot, and yet this deep, love that she has for Arthur at the mm-hmm. same time and respect. So this, you know, the different ways that you can love someone and how I think sometimes it feels like a choice, but in a different way. So there's just so much nuance in both of the relationships that she has in this show. So yeah. it's, I'm just, it's so exciting to, to plunge into that, um, both beautiful love, um, yeah. that she has for each of these characters. So, I really look forward to that and telling that story. She's bringing a, a little boy with her too. She's 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 got your your son's almost what two years old, almost two. Yeah, he's twenty months. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and that 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 son is a product of of um, of, of Riverside, kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, directly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's always nice. Yeah, you know, I'm going to be, be someday considered the matchmaker here. I yeah. Cannot, yeah. So many different relationships have uh, been born out of people working together here at Riverside. What but, a yes. great story that is. Isn't that great? Yeah. 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 He was my rival in uh, Phantom. He, he played the Count. <laughs> yeah. See? You never know. <laughs> there are there are stories woven into these stories. Ted, there are stories that would curl your hair.